Today, we are on our way to our next destination. We are heading from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore. But this time, we're not flying. Life we're not getting a train. We are getting a bus. And not just any bus. But a luxury bus. Now, you might be thinking, what's so special about a bus? Well, let me tell you that this is not your average run-of-the-mill bus. It's a Transtar Express. And it's about to revolutionise your idea of bus journeys. Get ready to be pampered and amazed. We've travelled far and wide on a variety of different transportation modes across Southeast Asia, experiencing everything from buses to ferries and trains to tricycles. From cramped seats and bumpy rides, we've seen it all. But today, we're going to put the Transfer Express bus to the ultimate test. How does it measure up against the rest? You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Never been on a bus like this before. Then there's a luxury bus in the Philippines, but not as luxury as this here in Malaysia. Just wait and see. Our coach has been for the day, Mr. Mustafa, and I'm Sophie, we are cabin crew on duty. Our it's cabin crew, guys. It's it's cabin crew. On the bus. And we'll be back at the rest area for 10 minutes for the break. For non Singaporean, you are required to submit online Singapore arrival card. This bus is insane. We are in our very own suite. We have got two TVs. We have got massage chairs, reclining cocoon chairs. We have food. We have snacks. We have coffee. We have cabin crew. I don't know what there isn't on this bus. Right here. Super cool. Drinks, got water, we got tables, everything. This is insane. So this is the Trans Star. It costs 150 ringgit, which is just under 30 pounds. I think it's going to take six hours. I think this is so worth it for 30 quid because if you think about it, you could fly as well. There's obviously a flying option, but when you add the price of not only the flight, getting to the airport, the luggage, and everything, this works out cheaper and is so comfy. But this place is so really nice. Okay. And then the seat goes backwards as what Zoe showed you. Oh, you can literally just have a little snooze here. You'll be fine. Yes. The only thing that this bus doesn't have is a toilet. However, you stop halfway for toilet breaks, so you just have to hold it and just go before you get in the bus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's give this a go. So, we've got the uh, Chinese fried rice, chicken, omelette, and spring roll. By the way, guys, it is like it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Ooh, you've got the sweet and sour sauce as well. Let's try the spring rolls first. It's laksa. Fried the rice. Right. Good rice, man. Chicken. Back to the back. Not good. Not it is a bit chewy like the chicken is overcooked. Good enough. And, um, let's try the omelette. Like, look how cute that is. I have never been served a meal on a bus before. It's so cool.
we've just been given a blanket. Must be night time, we're already decayed and like that. <laughs> Apparently it does get cold, but at the moment it's quite warm to be honest. Maybe because it's daytime now, so yeah. they're not blasting the aircon. They normally blast the aircon during the night. Well, that's what they do on the bus in the Philippines anyway. But yeah, I'm quite happy to It's good though, very good. Let's even get even got that logo. <laughs> So you can actually watch some movies here guys, um, listen to music, play games, the movies is actually quite good, I had a little look around, like, just got, let's look on the latest, and look, it's got Fast and Furious, Joker, um, Joker Aladdin, it's quite good isn't it? So for entertainment, it's got literally the exact same as when you get on a plane, the only thing that's missing here in the bus it's the toilet. <laughs> Alright guys, and they give out hot drinks as well. It's a bit too hot and the bus is a bit too uh, too bumpy. So I'm not risking it, I'm not risking it yet. I'd be able to sleep if this was like a long journey on a plane. It's good. If I should choose this for economy, I'd choose this. This is nice. One hour later. Alright guys, so we had a quick stop over here at Melaka just for 10 minutes, just to have a little stretch and to go to the toilet. So this bus has only got 19 seats overall, so it's not really that much. That's why it's all first come first serve, to be honest. That's why we got the suite. Yeah, no, it's so good, but it's actually, like, we didn't mean to get the suite, but actually mm. it's worked out perfect. Mm. That we've literally got our own closed off area. Because the other seats, it's all like one seat each, so it's like one on the left, one on the right and then a big gap in the middle. It's very spacious, this place. But this is bus. perfect for like couples. There's a third seat as well. Mm. And that's been like, I saw on the screen, it was like marked off, like, you can't use that one. Guys, they even got a luxury biscuit. It even says luxury. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's see if it tastes luxury. I hope it's sweet. It's gold. It's made out of gold. It reminds me of um, Ritz. Oh, does it? Quite salty. Mm, nice though. Mm. A few minutes later. So flying between Malaysia and Singapore is fairly cheap, pretty affordable. I'd say it's probably around 20 to 30 pound area. However, you've got to get a taxi there. When you get to Singapore, you've then got to get from the airport to wherever you're staying, plus for adding luggage and things. So actually, I think this does work out more affordable because you arrive straight into the city, the luggage is free. Yeah, I think this just works out way better. So I definitely would recommend this. It's super comfortable. In terms of time, it takes around five hours. But again, if you include getting to the airport two hours early and then arriving at the airport, going through all the immigration and everything, it would probably be around four to five hours anyway. So we will be coming up to the Singapore immigration shortly. We had to fill out a form, uh, I think a day in advance. Uh, it's just like the Singapore government website and you just create a pass. You just have to enter some basic details, passport numbers, where you're gonna be staying, how long for, just things like that. Um, so we'll let you know how that experience is because we've never ever done a land immigration before. This will be the first time. So I'm pretty interested to find out what that's gonna be like. So I was having a little snooze because he's so comfy. <laughs> One thing that we didn't think about is that we've obviously got Malaysian SIM cards right now. Now, when arriving by airport, we'd just be able to get a SIM card straight away at Singapore Airport and then we can use the maps, find out how to get to our place by MRT, but we don't have that now, so I'm not really sure how we're going to get to our place because we won't have any internet when we arrive in Singapore, but hopefully we'll just figure it out, ask some locals, see what happens. Alright guys, so we are about to uh, enter Singapore. This is mine and Zoe's first time crossing a country by land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never done it before, I'm not sure what it's like. We've already like left Malaysia, we're just waiting in a queue for our bags and also Singapore. Mm. No, our bags to be checked and the Singapore immigration, but there's a bit of traffic. 
So the immigration was super good. It was it went very smoothly. And now we have arrived in Singapore. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> I didn't see that one. But um, we've actually been to Singapore before. But literally just for like like, one, like 24 hours day. or something like yeah. it was just a layover yeah mm. so. we had a very long layover here yeah let's go let's go can't wait all right so we have arrived we're getting off the bus now these are the other seats by the way but yeah we're in singapore let's go So we're super excited to be in Singapore. We've just checked into where we're going to be staying for the next four nights. We are staying at the Pod Boutique Capsule Hotel right in the city centre. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a little quick room tour. This room is actually tiny, it's basically like a box. However, our bed is right at the top. Like as you can see, the bottom there is quite, it's quite high up to be honest. We also got a little teddy bear here. A little cutie. So the important thing is... We've got this massive comfy bed. We also got towels here, duvet, and we also got a blanket. It's so comfy. It reminds me of the UK, like our blankets like this. But let me show you the toilet. The toilet looks absolutely amazing. So the bathroom is so nice. Just look at this. Would you say this is marble? I'd say this is marble, isn't it? Yeah, and I think. If you know me, I love marble. Like anything marble, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm sold. And then you've got these plants there, which is like a coconut to bring that jungle vibes, which is Singapore is known for. And just like that. It's got a hair dryer. It's got like cool. Look at the way it like falls there. down. Like, that. That's oh. so cool. Oh. <laughs> and then you get the there's loads of toilets here, shower. Oh yeah. That's nice. Wow. Also, guys, this is an ironing board. This space got everything. Because I'm pretty sure there's also a microwave somewhere. Alright, okay. So before you enter, you need to take your shoes off and they give you these slippers. <laughs> and then you put a bit in this locker here. So shoes. Shoes here. It's actually quite a lot, you know. It's very clean and it smells amazing. On the third floor, where the main reception is, there's a vending machine. There's like a, a good working area. You get complimentary hot drinks. There's cold water. There's a fridge. There's a microwave. It's got everything. It's basically like a hostel. Probably is a hostel, like just a fancy one. Oh, this is actually quite nice. Like, look at this. Alright guys, now we are checked in and all settled. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start heading out and then wander around the city of Singapore. So keep an eye on that. Yeah, you'll see our first impressions. So that will be our next video. Um, but overall the bus, it was actually super comfortable. Um, I think it was a really good way of traveling. It's definitely something you should look into. I think it's actually pretty budget friendly. Budget friendly, for what, yeah, for what, for what it get. is. And the thing is as well, you don't even have to get the luxury bus that like you could get. Um, other buses which is much cheaper which is even cheaper and to go to a different country for that kind of price I just think is so good the immigration was pretty quick as well and luckily we didn't get traffic if you get traffic you can be sat there for like two hours extra mm. but we're gonna leave the link on the description so check that out but anyway we're gonna end the video here so make sure to like share subscribe leave a comment down below press that notification bell on and we'll see you in the next one peace bye